This is Ireland's day. They've beaten France. It's 13 games at home on the bounce. And Donald Lenehan, what a game of rugby. Well, Andy Farley deserves the congratulations. He deserves the smiles. A phenomenal game of rugby. I said it in the first half, you know. Uh, two titanic teams coming together. Will they deliver? Will it be a, a sort of a bore or a slugfest? What we got in the opening 40 minutes was an incredible balanced game of attacking rugby. Given the pace of it, it was obvious it was going to uh, peter out at some stage. But Ireland, uh, Bernard mentioned their game management. I thought they were superb in that second half. They played in the right areas of the field. Uh, their kick chase was superb. Their ability to uh, slow the French down. And in the end, I thought France, they were out on their feet. And they know if they want to win a World Cup, they have work to do. Well, there you have it. Four tries for Ireland, the bonus point win secured against France at the Aviva in the Six Nations. Full-time score, Ireland 32, France 19. Jackie, all yours. Oh, Hugh, you'll be glad of the break after that because that was absolutely breathless. But Ireland got exactly what they deserved, Jerry. Yeah, I, I thought they were, they were so courageous because there was a period uh, through the start of that second half when they got stretched, stretched as, as far as you could take a team, but they didn't break and they stayed in there, they stayed in there. I thought the bench made a massive difference when they came on. Every single player stood up, which, which I think is, is testament to the, to, the, to the culture of the group that when they came in, everyone just did their job. We spoke about that before the game. You know, the, the players that can handle the pressure the best and they can go out there and be themselves, put their best, put on their best performance, that they would win the game. And I think Ireland fully deserved it. That point is absolutely crucial. You look at Tyburn went off after 45 minutes, Sexton after 48, Conor Murray, Peter O'Mahony, both gone after 56 minutes. This was a full collective team performance from Ireland. Yeah, it was. I was really impressed. I think that's one of the best performances I've seen by Ireland in, in many a year uh, because of those challenges that they faced in the week leading up to the match, but also during the game. Um, the way they kept putting the ball in behind France. Like, France never were battering Ireland's line. They were never anywhere near the line. It was just off the cuff or a line break here or there. And James Lowe said it during the week, we may not be as big as these guys, but we're certainly fitter. And they showed that. Their, their fitness dominated in the second half. And even when the bench was uh, loaded off by, by France, they just couldn't hold on to Ireland. And amazing, absolutely amazing. And fair play to Andy Farrell for uh, getting his first win as the head man over France. Yeah, look, for sure. It was an absolutely incredible uh, performance by this Irish team. The atmosphere absolutely rocking inside the stadium. You can see uh, the picture on the friends' faces. And I suppose this Irish team, just what this means to them and how incredible this performance will be in terms of the context of this year and what may be coming for this team. Let's hear from the player of the match there. There is Caelan Doris. Doris, congratulations. You are the Guinness Six Nations Man of the Match. Ori Sheridan is here with the presentation. Congratulations, Caelan. Well Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, so much. Caelan, congratulations. This was the win you really wanted. You've come through in some style and are still the best team in the world. Yeah, it was a proper test match, that. Um, really tough first half, one of the toughest first halves I've experienced. Um, yeah, it was a battle the whole way through. We know what a quality side they are. Um, we haven't come out on top the last couple of times playing them, so great to get the win here. Uh, the crowd was unbelievable, as always. Pushed us on towards the end of the first half and second half there as well when we needed it, so it was great. And you played a huge part in that Ring Rose try, which really sealed the win, I guess. You really finished the game strongly. Yeah, um, we knew it was going to be an 80 minute performance against these guys. They can grace something out of nothing. They've got dangerous threats throughout their team, so we needed to be switched on for the 80. Um, and yeah, we were close to that. What was it like out there? It was a roller coaster, all action tussle. It was incredibly tough. Uh, as I said, with the threats they have, you have to switch on the whole time. Um, DuPont and Entmach, they can grade something out of nothing. So uh, it was tough to raise their forwards. are obviously huge threats as well through the middle. So physically very tough, mentally as well. You have to be switched on for the whole thing. Two bonus point wins now. You're in a fantastic uh, position for this championship. Yeah, momentum is huge in this. So we're happy with the start, but three huge games still to come. Uh, so we need to keep improving, keep working hard and yeah, looking forward to the rest of it. Congratulations, Caelan. Thank you. Cheers.
Here's Johnny Sexton now. Ireland captain Johnny Sexton, just tell us what this win means. We saw you before the game, you were very emotional in the lineup there for the anthems. I know you weren't happy about coming off. What does this win mean? Uh, we had a we had a very special week, um, special build up to the to the game. We had a couple of special guests in during the week and spoke about Ireland's call, and it was it was very emotional. And unless you were in the room on Monday night, you'd, you you wouldn't understand why. But uh, incredible. Any clues? Um, it was Brian and Craig Doyle and and the doc uh, Dave Irwin uh, came in and spoke to us about the. Uh, shoulder to shoulder documentary and uh, it was very very special so um, you know it was a great day great uh, occasion uh, you know the French supporters turned up but our supporters turned up and and we turned up it was a hell of a game um, and obviously it came down to chances we didn't take as many as we could have in the first half made it difficult but the lads really hung in there and uh, very special day. What brought you through this game because we've been talking during the week how Ireland have grown since the last time we played France what, what has that been what has brought you through? Well, when new coaches come in and they bring in a new way of playing, it's, it takes time. So, you know, the first time we played them here in COVID times, you know, we we looked all over the place. Then the next time we went to Stade de France, a little bit better, but still wasn't ourselves. And then I think today we gave a, a true account of ourselves and uh, it was a hell of a game. You know, we, if, if everything goes to plan the World Cup and we get through our group, there's a chance we could play, you know, them again. So uh, it's good to get you know, that all far back in terms of get beating them and they were the only team we hadn't beaten. Thanks, Johnny. Congratulations. Thank yeah, as always, Johnny Sexton right on message. I liked something he said there, though, Jamie. He says, this is a true account of ourselves. This is exactly who Ireland are. Yeah, well, he kind of alluded to it himself. He had to get the monkey off the back and um, they picked another very, very important milestone uh, on the route towards the World Cup. You know, the Six, Six Nations Championship is now theirs to lose, really. Um, I'll, be, I'll be wondering what the two of them are saying to each other. <laughs> I'm sure that's uh, what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think the game typified, um, you know, Ireland. When it was structured, when we had uh, it set up and we were able to kind of, both on attack and defence, have control around the game, we were very, very good, even in the purple patches of France. But when it broke up, broke up and it was wild and unstructured, that's where the individual brilliance that we talked about of France came through but you know the, the, we talk a lot about grit you know there's a lot of grit shown there by the players in terms of like to stay in the fight all the way to the end for Caelan Doris to throw that pass on a double effort he, he was in, involved in the rook before that um, and them to trust their defensive system when France are going through that purple patch to get around all their players talk about emotional week on the Monday and then the other stuff that we've heard around going around with, with, with players um, it's a huge moment for them to deal with all that mental and emotional uh, challenges coming at them and then deliver on what is probably, you know, outside of the New Zealand uh, game recently, probably one of the biggest games for them where they're number one expected to win and they delivered. Yeah, well, they did. And what that is going to do is send that hype machine into overdrive. <laughs> uh, we have 